Hi Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be your weekly forecast for the 10th of January 2022. If you're new to my channel, I used to do weeklies last year, they stopped, but guess what? They're back. So we're going to be doing this every Sunday for every single sign and this is your video for the week ahead. Um, so let's get started Aquarius without further ado. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Aquarius need to know for the week ahead? Thank you Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know for the week ahead? Thank you Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know for the week ahead? Knight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Very nice. Bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. All right. And to clarify the Magician, we'll just split the deck. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. This is fantastic. Okay, Aquarius, let's get started on your reading. So this is just going to be a snapshot um, of how I read the week for you ahead. Um, hope you enjoy the reading. So let's get started. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Empress card, and the Queen of Wands. All right. Clarifying the deck, you've got the, um, clarifying the reading, Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's have a look. So Aquarius, I feel very strongly this week um, is your time to shine, okay? With an Empress in the center of the reading and the outcome being the Queen of Wands, there could also be some indication here of you um, speaking to a Leo during the week, a woman who's in power in a position of authority. Um, but then also there's an opportunity here for you to really start fresh. Um, it's been a very slow process. The Knight of Pentacles is Taurus energy. So Taurus energy is all about slow and steady wins the race. You know, it's not a marathon, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So I'm very much getting the energy here that there's been something or you've been working on or something that you've really wanted to put your heart and soul into. Um, and it has been a really long process. Um, but it is finally coming towards you. Um, there is something on offer, but it is very slow moving. It's not going to happen overnight, okay? Because the Knight of Pentacles, he takes his sweet time. Just remember that. As I said, at the heart of the reading here, we've got that three of, uh, three of uh, Major Arcana. So the Empress card is all about fertility and new growth, opportunity, abundance and harvest time. And I feel very strongly that you've also been creating something for yourself that you're ready to sort of, you know, feel that abundance, you know, really reap the rewards of what you've, you know, the crop that you've sown and the, and the effort that you've put into creating something for your world. Whether or not that world is in a business sense, a creative capacity, um, you know, in a home environment for your family and friends or your community, um, those things are definitely coming together. I feel like you are talking to another female. There's another female here that's coming through. Um, but if it's not another female that's coming through that you're actually, you know, working with or collaborating with even, there could be an essence here of you embodying the Queen of Wands. So she's a Leo energy. Um, she's a woman who's in a position of, um, you know, abundance. She's very generous. She's very uh, giving and, you know, she's very knowledgeable as well. And I feel like even in a sense, you could be in the spotlight this week as well. So just be mindful of that um, and be prepared if you've got answers. I mean, there's a lot of yellow running through here as well. So these are things that you've been thinking about and, you know, manifesting for some time. Speaking of manifestation, that is the overarching energy for your reading. So you've got the magician here, which is the initiate, and it's um, combined with the wheel of fortune. So I even feel there could be a timing here for you. There's something that's been happening, um, you know, for let's say 10 years, and um, you are finally, you know, manifesting something new. You know, the wheel is now turning in, a, in your favor, but it's turning in a positive way that is something that you haven't actually. Um, you know, that you didn't, you know, knowledge and things that you didn't have 10 years ago, you're actually going to have that opportunity to do that now. Um, I'm not sure where you're sitting in terms of your Saturn returns. We don't really want to get into that. But at the end of the day, um, there is a cycle happening here. There's some, I'm feeling very much there's a cycle um, returning for you this week. It's super interesting. And like I said, very abundant. You know, there's, there's a lot of yellow here. There's a lot of positivity. 
um, and there's a lot of authority um, in terms of seniority, knowledge base um, and, you know, nurture based energy. Um, it's very nat natural and it's very organic. So it's a very exciting week for you, um, Aquarius. I hope you really enjoyed this reading. If you're new to my channel and you haven't checked it out already, go check out my official website, which I launched last week, newangeltarot.com. And that's got um, private readings if you'd like to book um, a more extensive reading with me. There, uh, there's a booking form on there which I conduct via Zoom and also courses. So in 2022, I'm doing some courses. If you're super new to tarot, there's a six week basic course that I'm, I'm running online again, which is via Zoom and also something a little bit more advanced if you've um, got me more of an appetite for you know, astrology, numerology and um, other subjects that are external to tarot. So Aquarius, I hope you really enjoyed this reading. Um, keep me posted in the comments below on how this reading resonated for you. Um, stay safe. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye Aquarius.